Hi everyone, so today I have with you a very beautiful problem. So this is a simple, it's one of the most classic number theory problems out there. And this is a rather famous problem, so you might have seen a problem, you might have seen this problem, or you might have seen some similar problems. A lot of iterations have been made to this question to make it a little bit more challenging, a little bit more interesting. But I think for anybody who is starting out with number theory, this is a very, very good introduction to this. And I think this covers up quite a bit of areas of elementary number theory. So without wasting any time, let's just get right into it. So this is a problem number one from the Junior Balkan Maths Olympia JBMO back in the year 2001. And in this video, we're going to be seeing how we can solve a symmetric Diophantine equation, how we can exploit the symmetry given the equation, basically to kind of reduce the R workings. And of course, reducing mod n and residues mod n, which is a very critical topic. And after that, we have some book sessions of National Math Olympias and at the end, a similar but challenging problem. This video is sponsored by Chinta.com. Since 2010, Chinta has trained thousands of students from all around the world in mathematical olympiads, physics olympiads, computer science and informatics olympiads, ISI CMI entrances, and research projects for school and college students. So, yep, we need to find all natural numbers A, B, C, so that AQ plus BQ plus CQ is 2001. Now, you might have seen this problem before, but we're going to try and solve it in the most efficient way possible, because there are a lot of ways to do this, right? But we're going to try and use as many number theory toolkits that we might have in order to, you know, get through this. Right, so what do I see? So first I see that the equation is symmetric, you know, replace A with B, B with C and C with A, the equation is still the same. Right, that's great because then I can write without loss of generality. I can assume a greater than or equal to b greater than or equal to c due to symmetry, of course. Right, and one of the many reasons why we do this is to kind of get this a cube plus b cube plus c cube in a certain bound, kind of bound its uh, bounded to two intervals in a way. So, for example, a cube plus b cube plus c cube would then be less than or equal to a cube plus a cube plus a cube. The reason for that is b cube will be less than or equal to a cube and same with c cube as well. But at the same time, this will be greater than or equal to c cube plus c cube plus c cube because c is the smallest of the three and similarly a is the largest of the three. Okay. So this a cube plus b cube plus c cube, which is 2001 is bounded between two values. It's bounded between two c cube, three c cube brother and three a cube and it just so happens it just so happens that 2001 divided by 3 happens to be an integer. It's actually 667, which is great because we've got some kind of like bound over here, right? C cube is less than or equal to 667, which is in turn less than or equal to a cube. Now, if we just take the cube root on both sides, I'll get cube root of 667, which is 8 point something, which is less than or equal to a. So from here, I can make the conclusion that C is less than or equal to 8 and A needs to be greater than or equal to 9. Okay, this is awesome. Okay, this is awesome because now you've in a way limited the values of C. C can only be 1 to 8, right? Because it's a natural number. A, B, C need to be natural numbers, right? Natural numbers. So C can only be 1 to 8. So you can proceed with making cases a very inefficient method. Let me just tell that as well. So we're going to try and maybe simplify our work further, right? Instead of making cases because who likes making cases, right? So like, just look at here, what have we done? We found out the minimum value of A. So if I ask the question, what is A max? Can, can there exist a maximum value of A? And the answer is yes. So if you just look at the equation, A cube plus B cube plus C cube is equal to 2001. Now, if I just tell you, A, B and C can be anything. It can be any real numbers, positive real numbers, right? Including zero. Then you would say that, well, the maximum of A would occur when B and C are zero. Right, so using the similar idea, a cube plus zero plus zero would be less than or equal to 2001, right? So a cube is less than or equal to 2001. And if I take the cube root, I can get a is less than or equal to 12. Which is amazing because from this and this, I can really bound the values of a between two, two like numbers, right? So a is between nine and 12. And we have also another result, c is less than or equal to eight. Now this is amazing. But this is again, shortened down our work. Now you can do case work A, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So you, you need to only check for four cases. And obviously solving a, a different 10 in two variables is significantly easier, right? So you can go with case work at this point. 
which would still be a brute force method because there does exist slight more simplification to this and that is using the concept of um, modulo right modular residues how can we use that over here well here's a tip whenever we have cubes it's very easy to use mod 9 and there's a reason for that i'll explain you how so we have a cube plus b cube plus c cube is equal to 2009 2000 and uh, 2001 so happens to be 3 mod 9 right okay that's great so we trying to reduce mod 9 basically that's the idea reduce mod 9 that's the idea that's the key idea over here so if i just kind of notice the residues that we get of uh, cubic residues modulo 9 so for example if x is 0 0 cube mod 9 is 0 if x is 1 1 cube mod 9 is 1 if x is 2 2 cube mod 9 8 mod 9 is minus 1 if x is 3 that is 27 mod 9 0 x is 4 64 mod 9 is 1 so if you actually notice this pattern next will be minus 1 and so on and so forth so x cube can only be 0 1 and minus 1 mod 9 that is amazing so whenever you have cubics keep in mind that mod 9 can be a good way to reduce it down right because the cubic residues of mod 9 is 0 1 and minus 1 is a great with the great numbers when we uh, talk about congruence modulo right so now a cube plus b cube plus c cube this is basically congruent to 3 mod 9 because 2001 is 3 mod 9 so this can only 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 happen if and only if a cube b cube c cube are individually 1 mod 9 all of the three need to be 1 mod 9 if there is any other case then it does not satisfy right now i know for a fact that a is between 9 and 12 but a cube needs to be 1 mod 9 which implies a has to be 10 because there's no other value of a for which you will get 1 mod 9 right so a is 10 that's fixed right so we found out the value of a without really any casework right without really any case we just had to reduce mod 9 so we had the equation a cube plus b cube plus c cube is equal to 2001 if i just plug in a is equal to 10 over here i'll get b cube plus c cube is equal to 1001 that's awesome now because you've kind of reduced it down to two variables the method is still the same right without loss of generality b is greater than or equal to c which is what we had assumed earlier as well so similarly b cube plus c cube is greater than or equal to b cube plus b cube right so in a way 2b cube is or i should write it like this b cube plus c cube is less than or equal to b cube plus b cube right because b is greater than or equal to c that's the order that we are following right or in other words c is less than or equal to b okay great so 1001 is less than or equal to 2b cube right or in other words 2b cube is greater than or equal to 1001 so this gives in a way a minimum value of b now again i ask myself the question what is b max what is b max and how do you figure that out again just a similar strategy b cube plus cp is 1001 b maximum will happen when c is equal to zero just kind of using that idea so b cube plus zero is less than or equal to 1001 so b cube is needs to be less than or equal to 1001 using this and this we get a very cool equation and inequality rather we get a bound for 1001 in terms of this thing b right i have solved this so b cube is basically less than 1001 which implies that b needs to be less than or equal to 10 similarly b cube needs to be greater than or equal to 1001 by 2 or in other words b needs to be greater than or equal to 8 so now again using this and this b is also bounded between 8 and 10 but b cube needs to be 1 mod 9 right and the only case for that is when b is equal to 10 so we found another solution as well now then b cube plus c cube was 1001 so c cube is what it's just 1 or because c is a natural number c then has to be 1 so what should be the solution 10 10 1 but is that it no we write 10 10 1 and all its permutations right because it's, it's, it's symmetrical if a comma b comma c is a solution all permutations of a comma b comma c will also be solutions and the reason why we got only one solution is we we kind of use the uh, without loss of generality that a needs to be greater than or equal to b greater than or equal to c right but if you consider some other order you'll get a, a different set of solution right so basically 10 comma 10 comma 1 and all its permutations so for example 1 comma 10 comma 10 
you know 10 comma 1 comma 10 all of these things will be included in the solution set and that will be your entire solution set so i hope you enjoyed that it was i think one of the most classic number theory problems out there and this is something that you should keep in mind especially the fact that whenever you have cubes mod 9 is a very good idea right you can use some other reduce some other mod n as well but mod 9 is generally as a rule of thumb it's good to go right so hope you learned something from that okay so now we have some book sessions for national math olympiads elementary number theory by david burton problem solving strategies by arthur and gel functional equation by venkta chala problems in plane geometry by sharigan elementary number theory by siapinski graph theory by harari and combinatrix by brualdi okay so you have a similar but challenging problem i may have given this before though um you need to find all national numbers abc so that aq plus bq plus cq in 2005 try this out try different iterations you know we're in 2023 it's a good number it seems a good number try maybe aq plus bq plus cq 2023 maybe try varying the coefficients as well for example you can consider aq plus 3bq plus cq is equal to 2023 things like that maybe try we try diving a little bit deeper into how this progresses for uh, different constants that we choose right so try it out and let me know if you're able to solve it until then i'll see you in the next video thank you very much and bye bye the programs are designed for students who are passionate about mathematics and they are personalized with one-on-one -on -one training individual evaluation and remedial sessions the reason Chinta students are successful over the last 10 years because they are taught by mathematicians and real Olympiads from leading universities in India, United States and Europe. Some of our students come back to teach at Chinta from Oxford, Cambridge, Harvard, MIT, UCLA, ISI, CMI, IITs, TIFR and IISC. For more information, visit chinta.com.